Hey everybody, this is Phoenix Down, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. In the last episode, the war against the Reptypes came to a screeching halt as Lavos fell from the sky and completely leveled the Tyranno Lair. So now that we've learned that Lavos' origin was in the prehistoric time, he fell from space of all places, this may be our best chance to defeat him while he's still weak in order to save the future, but before we do that, Let's go over back to the Dactyl and check up on the uh, cave people, because at this point in the game you can actually get some unique dialogue from the people from Ioka and Laruba. It's nothing important, but I figured I'd at least demonstrate a little bit of it. So we'll just stop at this hut right here, this Ioka hut, and talk to these people. You know, Red Star, me saw, big fire where lava's fall, me scared. Yeah, most people are actually uh, very happy, but yeah, exactly, because the Reptites are gone, so happy! No more reptiles. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Really? Well, Woolsey? Well, you can tell this game was translated in the 90s. If you don't get that reference, that's not a big deal. It's from a cartoon from back in the day. But alright. So let's go over here and check up on the Tyranno Lair ruins. And, oh, hey, what the? There's a gate. Exactly. Tis a gate. What's going on, Ela? Lavos, very fast. Deep under Earth already. Uh, okay, we're too we were too slow to catch Lavos. He's already going deep underground. M mayhap Lavos be the cause of this warp. The one in Megas' castle was immense. Yes, it is true. Lavos seems to have some kind of influence on the gates, huh? What wrong, Chrono? Fight Lavos. Go in here. Yes. Yeah, it does seem like the best course of action. We got ourselves a new gate. So let's check out and see where this takes us. Once again, we're going through the trippy vortex. Well, it's very windy outside, I can tell that much, but we've never been here before. Where are we? Tis strange. Where is this, Chrono? Yeah, I guess Ayla's never done time travel before, and I don't remember ever actually explaining time travel to Krog, but we did take him to the end of time once, so I guess he's got a, a little bit of a feel for it. But anyway, and whoa, ho, ho, holy crap, it's cold. And I think I brought the two worst party members to deal with this type of weather. I've got an amphibian and a woman in a bikini in my group. Now, there is a cave over to the uh, west of here, but we can't do anything there, so just ignore it. Let's go this way, find some shelter. Maybe I should change my party. Yeah, they'll be okay. So we got a skyway. My way or the skyway? Yeah, more or less. Oh, hey, I like this music. Yeah, this is one of my favorite themes in the game here, the corridors of time. And here we are on some kind of floating island. This is, uh, this is different. We haven't experienced anything like this, and we have a town called Inhan Inhasa. Hey, what the, what are you doing here? Is this Masa or is it Mune? This is the eternal kingdom of zeal, where dreams can come true. But at what price? Well, that sounds ominous. But wow, this place is really fancy, really advanced looking. What strange visitors! Welcome to Zeal! Is, is this part of a dream? Queen Zeal rules our magical kingdom. She is without peer in beauty and greatness. I do vaguely remember Specchio back the first time we met him in the end of time saying that, you know, it used to be a time where everybody could uh, use magic powers. So uh, we got a lot of magic in this kingdom, that's apparent. And uh, when I get back to the world map, I'll check and show you guys what time period we're actually in. Welcome to Anhasa, in the magical kingdom of Zeal. We find truth in the bliss of sleep. Okay, that's uh, curious. Interesting way of uh, pursuing life, I suppose. Oh, uh, here's uh, this thing again. Am I a butterfly dreaming I'm a man? Or a bowling ball dreaming I'm a, paid a plate of sashimi? <laughs> Never assume that what you see and feel is real. Okay. This was, uh... It's, uh this is interesting. I'm going to be talking just about all the NPCs just because there's a lot of exposition. I'm trying to talk to this doll thing. Why isn't... Oh, there we go. Wasn't high enough. So, uh, it's asking if we believe in fate. So, uh, yeah, well, yeah, of course. You know, divine... Uh, you know, there's a divine plan to everything, right? It is useless to fight against destiny. But, you know what? After thinking about it, I honestly don't think there's such a thing as fate, and I like how that's capitalized, even though 
Yeah, because I don't want to acknowledge Chrono Cross. And if you don't get that reference, you probably just haven't played enough of the game. But we're the masters of our own destinies. That's the way we should live. I That's my personal belief, actually. I believe there may be a doorway of destiny somewhere around here. And, uh, I'll, I'll tell you more about that later, but... You know, if we don't have time for this, you know, hit the third option. He just clams up and he won't talk to you anymore. We, we upset him. It's like, fine, be that way. And we have another lady or person sleeping here. And there's another city called Kajar, where they study magic and it lies on the western continent. And the airship Blackbird is kept there. Okay, I, I vaguely remember someone mentioning that before, but I can't quite put my finger on where. Oh, we got this boy here. He looks different. He's got a unique sprite, and he's got a cat with him. Tis a sullen lad. This frog doesn't seem to like him for some reason. What wrong? That animal good food? Ayla, all animals are food to you. The boy doesn't seem to care much about us. The black wind howls. One among you will shortly perish. What, what? Urchin, halt! So Ayla's just like, what's going on? I know if not what this portends. What an unpleasant lad. Yeah, Frog really doesn't like that kid. Strange one, but not bad boy. Yeah, Ayla just thinks it's a joke. It's like, ah, ha, 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 whatever. He said one of us is gonna die. Ha, 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 ha. Well, there's a North Palace. And the key is in the palace? That doesn't make sense. There's two different palaces they're referencing here. But the word, word choice is a little, uh little vague there. The Queen's Palace is at the center of zeal. From there she protects the entire world. That's why we can sleep our days away. Okay. And we got a spring of recovery here so we could step on this thing and we've got full HP MP restoration. Also between episodes I changed up my equipment I just I decided we don't need ruby vests anymore for the time being. So I switched over to uh, the meso mail and mist robe for the appropriate characters. And I also gave Chrono the Aeon Blade instead of the Slasher. I know I the speed is nice, but we're going to need attack power pretty soon, I'm thinking. So we got the Queen Sealed Elemental Weapons in the North Palace. But we can see the entrance on the Northern Continent, but no one is allowed there. Huh. Okay, and they're, they're taking the time to actually show it to us. and That looks familiar. I feel like I've seen that place before. Some kind of weird blue pyramid someplace. Huh. This place seems to be linked to a lot of different things. We're going to learn more about it as we progress. The door to the North Palace is sealed with a mysterious energy. Even we, the enlightened ones, cannot open it. I'm Doreen. Seek the hidden path and open the doors of knowledge each in turn. Okay, well basically what Doreen means there, and that's the last time we talked to her, she repeats the cycle after that point, is that there are three books in this uh, place. First one you open up summons water. The second one will create wind, and the third one down here will activate fire. And it will open. You do the books in that order in a specific time period, time before uh, the first one closes, and it'll open up a hidden stair uh, stairway, a hidden passage into a secret room. And over here, there's a book that you can read, The Mystery of Life, Volume 841, Chapter 26. Wow. Somebody's had a lot of time on their hands. All life begins with new and ends with new. This is the truth. This is my belief. At least for now. Well, I guess, you know, it's easier to change an idea than it is to change a belief, in my opinion. We got a new here. A guru of reason is gone. I don't know why that comma's there. Challenge me? You know what, we've fought news before. How hard could this possibly be? Holy crap! Six of them! Okay, well what I want to do with this fight is have uh, Ayla and Chrono do the Falcon hit and leave Frog on standby for uh, healing purposes. Like, holy crap though. Six news. If you remember, news can uh, hit you with attacks that will either reduce your HP all the way down to one, or do an attack that will completely wipe away your last one HP. So, okay, I'm gonna have uh, Frog do heal now. So, uh, Chrono and Frog will 
have some HP to survive. You don't have to worry about being at max it when you fight news. All right, we're gonna do another Falcon hit on the top three. I love this tech. It's one of the, one of my favorite dual techs in the game. Hits all enemies in a straight line. And all right, three of the news are down. So now it's just a matter of uh, waiting for Chrono and uh, Ayla to fill up their bars. All right, good. I'm glad I healed Frog there. All right, yep. We're doing all right. Another one HP attack. Nope, okay, well, I'm gonna cast heal now just to be on the safe side. But hopefully we can finish these guys off now. Just gotta do two more falcon hits. Doesn't matter which one of those guys I target, it'll hit all of them in a straight line anyway. So now I just have to wait for Chrono and Ayla to fill up their bars and... And then the battle will be won. All right, well played, guys. Victory is ours. Got some decent experience and 90 tech points. Nice. And Chrono leveled up. I'll take it. You're strong. Take this. And we got a magic tab and a speed tab. Nice. I'll take those. I'll give those both to Robo, actually. I mean, it would be nice to boost Chrono's speed, but... But, uh, we'll be fine. Anyway, I don't have to worry about recovering right now. There are no enemy encounters besides that for the time being. So let's just head on over to this, uh, land bridge here. And we're gonna have to brave the elements once again. And now we're back on the... Back on the... Back on the planet itself. Enduring the, the harsh ice, ice age. Oh yeah, I was gonna wait and... So now we're in 12,000 BC, the Dark Ages, the Ice Age. Just as Azala predicted in the last episode, Lavos crashed into the planet and caused an Ice Age to uh, envelop the world and wipe out the dinosaur people. Somehow the humans survived. And uh, somehow they also managed to create a, this kind of civilization. <laughs> and a uh, city in the sky above uh, the horrible freezing weather. So it's like it's summer every day up here. It's just lush life. Everything seems so perfect here. It's kind of a... Uh, it feels like... I don't know, it's hard to imagine, but this is like... This is one of my favorite parts of the game, actually. This is where the game gets really interesting. If you weren't already sold on the game before, this is usually the turning point for a lot of people. But alright, let's check out Kajar. The magical city of Kajar. And they do experiments for the queen here, so this is kind of like a research city, I suppose. Your power differs from ours. In you, I sense a strange aura of kindness. You guys aren't very kind around here or something? So if you combine the ancient rainbow shell and the sunstone to create to create incredible weapons and armor. Oh, you can you can combine them. So I kind of read that wrong. But only the guru of life has the skill. Elemental power usage is forbidden. I guess that explains why there are no... Uh, no, uh, elemental, uh, weapons in this game. Okay, this is just another person that just says, Yeah, that's a spring of recovery. Okay, we're fully restored again. That's the sun keep you see on the southern continent. A sunstone, once the source of the world's power, was kept there. But when we get- when we began using our new energy source, it was sealed up, just like the North Palace. They claim we don't need the energy of this tired old planet. Huh. Okay, so that's the uh, Sun Keep, I suppose. I guess we'll have to figure out a way to get to that later. Doesn't look like there are any uh, skyways or land bridges there. Anyway, we have a new over here. It's just a shop, but he just sells stuff we don't really care about, so... I've got load shields, but I cannot sell them unless the Queen says it's okay. Huh. Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind, I suppose. We got some more people up here. Ooh, I thought I saw a sparkly up in the, the wall. His only friend other than his sister is that stupid cat. What tempest rages in his head? And they must be talking about that kid that told us one of us was gonna die. We've been seeing a lot of Giannis lately. He appears upset and paces around. Okay, so I guess that little boy's name is Giannis. I always used to pronounce it Janice, but then I saw Goldeneye and they had it pronounced as Giannis in that, so that's kinda why I do that. Queen Zeal has two heirs, Shala and Giannis. Shala is an incredible child who has extraordinary magic powers. Being so gifted, she'll breeze through life. 
But is that really for the best? And yep, there's definitely something sparkling on the wall there in the uh, upper right-hand corner there. But I can't reach it. So I come around here on the outs- from this side. And I found a speed tab! Nice! Two speed tabs, I'll give those both to Robo. But her Shala's powers far exceed those of her mother. And then there's her stepbrother, Giannis. He's of royal blood, but he doesn't seem to have a speck of magic. Huh. Interesting. And this guy's working on a magic tab. He's... I guess this is where those tabs came from. But my precious products have been disappearing lately. Must be the naughty new that hid them. They love pranks. What can I do? And speaking of which, I'm going to take this tab here and... Oh, it's defective. So we'll just put that back. Ha ha ha. And this guy is ignoring me. Come on, man, speak up. We'll worry about him later, I guess. I heard a strange prophet has come to the palace. I don't know the details, but I heard he has uncanny powers. Huh. So now there's a prophet as well. Lots of interesting. There's a lot of uh, plot development going on right here. A lot of exposition. Did you know a moonstone can be recharged if you leave it in the sun? But it takes aeons, so it's unlikely for us to see that gl gorgeous glow again. So yeah, I guess, you know, what are the odds of that? Okay, so if a sunstone loses its power, it turns into a moonstone. We'll have to keep that in mind. And this new is basically giving you the clue as to what books to open in what order. You know, I you're not you're technically not supposed to know that until you've come to Kajar, but I figured I didn't want to have to walk across the the frozen fields to get back to Inhasa again. So I just did it while I was there. But water summons wind and wind makes fire dance. So that's how you remember that. So they have a new energy source that ex that exceeds that of the elements. Uh, something to keep in mind. And there's three gurus the, of life, time, and reason. And their skill and knowledge is supreme. Okay, well, well, we'll learn more about them as we continue traveling through Zeal. Okay, yeah, we already talked to this person. I was, I was about to say, I was like, that sounds familiar. We got some more people here. The construction of the Ocean Palace is behind schedule. Eternal Palace beneath the waves. It'll be a sight to see when it's done. So there's an Ocean Palace, or an Undersea Palace, that they're building. And they they, they have the great aeroplane Blackbird, which Bal Balthasar built. When it soars in the sky, it looks alive. Balthasar is truly a genius. So Balthasar must be one of the gurus, then. The Earthbound Ones are being allowed to work on the construction of the palace. I guess they're talking about the Ocean Palace. So they do have a purpose after all. Okay, this guy's a jerk. People are people, man. And the Ocean Palace lies deep beneath the waves. It's a symbol of the Queen's power. Alrighty, yep, and praise be to Queen Zeal. May... whatever. How do we come by our skills? And why do others lack them? Who cares? Okay, that's one way of looking at it, I suppose. So, yep, we have magic. But it must be very primi primitive compared to ours. You poor things. It's like, oh, shut up, lady. I'm starting to like this place less and less, talking to these stuck-up people. Those lacking magic have always lived beneath the clouds as the earthbound ones. After all, they lack what we have. Yeah, but, jeez. Uh, I'm seeing some parallels with the real world in this. Anyway, we got water here. I'm gonna run over to the other side up. Nope, down here, down here. I'm gonna summon wind here. And then there's this book right here for fire. And we'll open up a doorway here. The doorway of knowledge. And there's a book over here you can read. It all began aeons ago when man's ancestors picked up a shard of a strange red rock. Its power, which was beyond human comprehension, cultivated dreams. In turn, love and hate were born. Only time will see how it all ends. I think they're talking about Dreamstone there. But anyway, we found something strange. What is a Puyozo doll doing sitting in here? Also, there was a creepy laugh there. But a black rock is inside. This is an accessory that three characters can equip, and it allows them to unlock a hidden triple tech. But we can't use it right now, so we don't have the appropriate party members for that. And I think that's pretty much everything we can do in Kajar, so let's uh, move on. Go to the, our next uh, destination. Let's check out the Blackbird next, since it's right over here. 
Yeah, we could check out it. It's docked here. We probably can't board it, but maybe we should just look and see anyway. All right, we got... Yep, exactly. There's a couple guards here. Who are you guys? Everything okay with the Blackbird? Oh, great. Who's this guy? Everything's A-OK, -okay, sir. Dalton. Dalton, huh? Okay. Of course it is, you idiot. Hey, you! What are you doing there? Uh, we're just seeing the sights. Aha, it was true then. Wait, what? You're the ones the prophet said would come and cause trouble. Um, no. We're not here to cause any trouble. We're just tourists. Let's see how you handle this little situation. I didn't think it'd make it, they'd make it so easy on me. Ha! Wait, what? Yeah, that scene didn't make a whole lot of sense to me, and I think that's just like a translation thing. I I feel like he was like taunting or trying to bait us into fighting him, and we don't step up to it. He's like, oh, cowardly, huh? So yeah, you talk to these guys. Yep, so that's a pretty big airplane. I don't see how it could look alive when it flies, but maybe that's just me. Anyway, let's uh, continue on to the palace. This is going to be more of a longer exposition episode today. So now we're entering these caves that allow us to warp to uh, different caves. They're basically just little travel points. But alright, let's just keep working our way up. And out this pathway here is the, uh, the palace of Zeal. So let's talk to these people. This is the Queen's Palace, the center of Zeal Kingdom, which makes this the center of the universe. Okay, these guys are really full of themselves. Beings that are born of dreams must return to them. What is this, Final Fantasy X? The power of Lavos can make hopes and dreams come true. Wait, what? No! Lavos is bad. What you got? So that must be their hidden secret power source. Masa and Mune, I'm pretty sure it's his... What are you guys doing here? And why aren't you talking to me? I want to be the wind, Masa. Oh, you will someday. Big sister Doreen's at Inhasa again. Yeah, that's because she likes dreams. I like the wind better. Whoosh. So what are you guys doing back here? And why aren't you talking to me either? Okay, there we go. I wonder how old man Melchior is. Humans are so odd. Wait, Melchior? This is getting, like... There are so many things that are just being alluded to and we don't have the answers yet. That man's a newcomer, but his accurate prophecies have earned the Queen's trust. He's a drifter. He's not one of us enlightened ones, nor of the earthbound ones either. Hmm. Okay, must be talking about that mysterious prophet guy. The Balthasar, the Guru Reason, had secret rooms? Yeah, I, I uh, found those. Yeah, don't worry about it. There's no secret rooms in the palace, by the way. Ask the Queen or the Gurus if you want to know about the Mammon Machine and the Ocean Palace. But just between us, she probably won't give you the time of day. Now we have a Mammon Machine on top of Ocean Palace and Kingdom of Zeal and Gurus and... You know, all this other stuff that's just piling up. So much exposition and so little time. The Queen's aide Dalton was in charge of the Ocean Palace until some traveling prophet took over. He's in a bad mood, so you should avoid him. Okay, yeah, he's... He, he was kind of picking a fight with me, sorta. And the completion of the Ocean Palace will allow Zeal to last forever. Just eternal peace, you say? Okay, if you say so. I'm gonna step back down this way. and I, didn't, I missed some people down the bottom here. So the Queen's heirs get along very well. But Yana seems to be very closed up and doesn't relate well to other people besides her. That pendant of yours. It looks like Shala's, but it doesn't glow. So, uh, huh, they must be talking about Marley's pendant. I guess Chrono's still holding on to it for her. The source of our energy lies deep below the sea. Now that its exact location has been found, the Ocean Palace will be built. Okay, so they must have found uh, Lavos, since they were talking about using Lavos' energy, and they're building the Ocean Palace to get closer to Lavos. That seems to be the impression I'm getting from this. The Wandering Prophet is amazing. All his prophecies have come true. It's as if he knows the future. How eerie. But, you know, uh, that's isn't that what prophets do, though? Let's recover, even though I don't think we need to. What strange clothes. Are you, you must be travelers from afar. So we got a spring of recovery there. And this lady, this person is actually important. 
Yes, we do like plants. You want to say yes first. Oh, you're just like me. But the queen ordered me to burn the sapling I received from the guru of life. He says it was a magical sapling with powers to cure the environment. And uh, you want to tell her to secretly plant it. This will unlock an optional dungeon that will be tied to a side quest that we'll do later in the game. But yeah, tell her to secretly plant it. Even if it is the queen's command, the guru of life gave it to me. I can't burn it. I'm going to grow it with love. Someday it may save the environment. You do that, lady. If you tell her to burn it, you don't. I don't think you get a chance to uh, take that back. I think she'll do it. And then that will completely close off an optional side quest and you won't be able to get certain treasure and fight certain monsters and stuff like that. Could you scratch my back? Um, sure. Sure, why not? Very enthusiastic, sure. Okay, we uh, scratched away. Thank you. And we discovered the new scratch point. I don't know why that required a fanfare, but okay. Well done, Chrono, well done. Now, if you really want to, you can go all the way back to Kajar now and talk to that one new that was... That naughty new that was stealing tabs from that guy that was making them. But, uh, we could go back there another time. Even Balthasar is gone after designing the Blackbird and the Ocean Palace. How strange that the three gurus who guide Zeal have all disappeared. Wait, what? The gurus are all gone. It doesn't seem to be common knowledge at the other cities. They say that Gasper, the guru of time, continues his work on some deserted island. He's making a chrono trigger or time egg or something, but no one has seen him for ages. So apparently that's the namesake of the, uh, the game there. I'll worry about that room later. I don't think we can actually go there yet. The earth is alive and has changed over the aeons, from flatlands into mountains, from mountains into oceans. You may find the way, that is if you could pass the aeons of time at the Forbidden Palace or the Sun Keep. I don't know what the Forbidden Palace is supposed to be. But anyway, if we go over this way... Yeah, a lot of the NPCs have interesting things to say. So, yeah, they're apparently taking pity on the queen. But anyway, this will take us to the bedrooms. So we'll go through here. And go over this way. Oh, we got ourselves a scene here. Oh, it's uh, Giannis, and that must be Shala there. Shala! Oh, you're back, Giannis. Is something wrong? The black wind. You feel it too? Don't worry, it'll be alright. Now hold on to this. What is it? It's a kind of amulet. If something should happen, it'll protect you. I wish I could be with you always, but Mother has other plans. She's not our mother. She looks like Mother, but inside she has changed. Still, I can't. Giannis, I'm sorry. Excuse me, Highness. Oh, let's clear out of the way then and uh, let this lady through. The queen asks for your immediate presence at the Ocean Palace. All right. Well, Giannis, I'll be going. Oh, who might you be? Oh, she noticed us. Miss Shala, please hurry. If you're late, I'll be punished. Uh, we wouldn't want that, would we? I'm sorry. So there goes Shala. Interesting. Pity we didn't get a chance to actually talk to her, but okay, well, we got Giannis, but I get a feeling he's not going to be uh, cooperative. Exactly. Go away. Very right, fine. Well, I'll talk to his cat then. Oh, don't waste your time. Alphador only likes me. Your cat's name is Alphador? Okay. Well, I'll just leave the kid to sulk on his own then. Interesting things going on. So the queen's not quite herself, apparently. We got this guy over here. I'm not sure what he's doing here. Shala's pendant was made from the same red rock as the mammon machine. When she chants, the pendant glows. Hmm, interesting. And they say our pendant looks a lot like hers. Something to keep in mind, I suppose. Oop, I want to go up here. So the queen's area would be up here in the central path. Yep, there goes Shala right ahead of us. Oop, she's at a door. She's showing the pendant. And the door disappears. Oh, hey. That door looks vaguely familiar. Huh? All right, well, open says me. 
Nuts. Strange, how come? Tis merely, tis a mere door that keeps us bound hand, foot, and tongue. <laughs> okay, well played, Frog. Interesting line there. No one may enter while the queen is away at the ocean palace. Your pendant looks just like Shala's. I heard that when Shala communes with the mammoth machine, her pendant starts to glow. Huh. Okay, well, let's uh, track down this mysterious mammoth machine then. Feels kind of odd that we're going to be relying on the power of Lavos to get where we need to go. So move out of the way, new. So this is the way to the hall of the mammoth machine. The prophet's aura is full of hatred and sorrow. He'll destroy himself and those he loves. Okay, I guess that's that's unfortunate. But yeah, we can talk all these guys. Yep, the man machine is over here, and Lavos' energy is prevailing the hall. So yes, I do want to see the man machine. The mighty Lavos' power. Yeah, Lavos is pretty powerful. Why do you think we have to level up so much to defeat him? If the mammoth machine has moved to the ocean palace, we can extract even more energy from Lavos. The ultimate dream of eternal youth and life is now possible. Oh boy, so these guys are seeking immortality now. Oh, the queen changed almost overnight after the mammoth machine was created. And everybody that opposes her disappears. Huh. Melchior is vanished. You're not thinking what I am, are you? I'm suspicious, but I'm going to keep my mouth shut because I'm not from around here. The three gurus made the mammoth machine from the royal family's red rock. So it must be the dreamstone. But now Melchior, who was in charge of it, was disappeared. Magic strong enough to control the extraction of energy is needed to control the mammoth machine. Okay, that must be why Shala has to commune with it. And the mammoth machine is the source of all of Zell's, Zeal's power. I Sometimes I call it the Kingdom of Zell. I don't know which is proper. I usually... Zeal sounds better to me. Okay, so, uh... Let's, uh... Go up here and, uh... Present our pendant to the mammoth machine. Empower that pendant. Fill it with energy. Yeah, it feels so weird relying on Lavos's power to eventually defeat Lavos. But okay, let's go and check out that door again. Yeah, it's gonna be a longer episode today, but we're almost done, I think. So let's go up this way, and let's see what happens. Oh, we opened the door, all right. Ayla go, no fear, Chrono. What doth challenge us now? What indeed? Well, let's find out. Oop, here we are. Who are you? How did you get in here? Your Majesty, they are the evildoers I warned you of. What? How dare you think you can oppose me, you foreigners? You're worse than the gurus. Fools, doubt them, take them away. Yes, ma'am, by your leave. Golem! Wait, what? And they all disappear and... Holy crap, that is an ugly thing. Alright, it's time for a boss battle against the Golem. This guy changes his elemental attacks depending on what you attack him with. So I'm going to go with a Volt Bite with uh, Ayla, and I'm going to blast him with uh, with Water with Frog, even though I think Leap Slash would probably do more damage, but his Water attacks aren't nearly as powerful as his physical ones. Nice! Pretty good amount of damage there. Okay, but he's copycatting Water attacks now. Going to have Ayla and... Uh-oh. I'm going to have uh, Frog actually do heal real quick. I'm going to wait for Chrono's bar to charge up. And then I'm going to do another Volt Bite. Now, if, if you leave him on uh, electric uh, attacks, he will do an electric discharge, kind of like what Nizbel does. I forget how much HP these guys, this guy has. But now he's doing lightning attacks, so I'm going to... Uh, Hit him with water. If you change his, uh, if you attack him with different elements, you can delay him on what he's able to attack you with. It kind of resets his uh, ATB counter, kind of. From what I understand, I might be off on that. 
All right, not bad. Doing some decent ja damage. Let's hit him with a water spell real quick. All right, nicely done, frog. Do another volt bite here. But yeah, his physical attacks are really brutal. That's why I want to use element, resort to elemental ones instead. Okay, now he's on lightning again. So let's blast him with some water. All right, well played. All right, go for the volt bite. I think we got this battle pretty much in the bag at this point. The Golem is a pretty tough enemy. It can really give you a hard time, especially like the first time you play the game. Go for another water spell. Yeah, I know it doesn't do that much damage, but it'll reset his uh, ATB counter, so it makes the battle easier for us. Let's hit him with another Volt Bite. All right, nicely done, Ayla. And the battle is won. We defeated the Golem. All right. I honestly wasn't expecting to defeat him. But victory is ours. All right. We got 1,000 experience points and 35 tech points. So decent money. Frog leveled up. Ha 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 My poor golem. That was inexcusable. Wait. Oh, no. Crap. Why'd you guys walk into that? And now we're in trouble. <laughs> Fear not, you won't die. Immediately, that is. Ah, crap. So what fate will befall us? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This has been Phoenix Down, and I will see you guys next time. But by the time we're through with you, you'll be begging us to end your suffering. What a delicious diversion!